Have you had somebody come in, take a class, and then just leave? They didn't even sign up, and you're like, what the heck? Do I have to lower my prices to dirt cheap to get anybody to sign up? In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the reasons why people aren't enrolling. You kept pushing on, but then you went too far. When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost, everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault. Okay, so maybe one of the things that you've been doing on a regular basis and you don't even know that you've been doing it is simply not asking why someone wants to get started in your classes. And here's why it's gonna make such a big difference for you. Number one, if you know that a person needs to start classes because they need to lose weight, when they're sitting there and they're weighing their decision on whether or not they're gonna get started and they go, well, I just kinda need to think about and you say, well, okay, I totally understand. So I know we've already gone over like class schedule. You're good with that and everything. I just wanna make sure, like, uh, is there something going on here that you need to talk about? Like, is it with me? No, 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 I, I just, I'm just not sure if this is a good fit for me. Well, I know we talked about losing weight earlier. Yeah, but I think I could do that with diet. <laughs> you found out that they wanted to lose weight. That's, that's cool, but why do they need to lose weight? Why is it so important for them to lose weight now? If you don't know the answer to that, and they haven't verbalized it, it will be very hard to go further in this conversation. However, if you find out the why, such as, I need to lose weight because my doctor told me if I don't lose weight, then I'm at a higher risk for heart attack because it's in my family, and I wanna make sure I walk my daughter down the aisle when she you know, gets married one day. Well, now you have a big why. So when that person says, you know, I'm just not sure, and you go through all the steps and you say, hey, I know you talked to me earlier about the importance of walking your daughter down the aisle. So let me just ask you this question, because I'm really concerned about you and your future moving forward. If you don't do this now, are you gonna have the accountability process in place to actually get you moving and active so you will lose the weight? And then you shut up. And then you let reality sink in. Now, is this a sales tactic? Yes and no. I'm gonna explain why it's so important that you do this, even for yourself. Just took you through a scenario of discovering the why, why someone needs to get started in your program. And I use a, you know, weight loss. When you're having to make a decision, and I want you to understand this for yourself as well. Like, if you were to come to me, if you were to say, Jennifer, I really am thinking about doing your hybrid martial arts growth program, I would be asking you why. And you might say something like, well, I wanna grow my school. Well, some people might stop at that. I won't. I'm gonna ask you, why is that so important to you? Why aren't you satisfied with the number of students that you have right now? What could you see change in the future if you were able to get that to that higher student count? Why is it so important for you to leave a legacy? I'm gonna keep asking the why until you tell me deep down what's hidden and what's covered of why you really need to grow your school and your potential students are no different. Listen, sales is all about serving. So if you can't actually discover why this person wants to join your school, what is it that they need? How can you assist them? If you can't discover that in their introductory lesson, in the presentation that you do with them to get them signed up into your classes, it's gonna be very hard to serve them in the future. And I don't know about you, but I don't like being a McDojo where one size fits all, or there's just a combo meal. I wanna be there to serve my students. I wanna see them personally grow and personally change. We have individuals that are out here on the mat, not just a group of kids or group of adults. These students are here and they are here because we have the opportunity to change their lives for the better. So start getting used to practicing that and actually asking why and digging down. And then when your team comes up to you and they ask you a question or your kids come up to you and ask you a question, start asking them, well, why, why, why? And pretty soon you're gonna start feeling like it's very natural. And when you start doing this, you can really start actually helping more people because you found out the real reason why they're asking, not just what they're saying, 
or what they mean deep down. Underneath. Hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things, and you can actually click a link below in the description where you can get access to the Martial Arts Business Growth Network. It's a free community for martial arts school owners where we are constantly trying to help school owners grow how to inspire them to teach better, how to create better students, all those things. So if you're not in that group yet, make sure you go check it out. Until next time, guys, Jennifer Waters. I'll see you later.